Opp- Oppenheimer's quote when they detonated the nuclear bomb is one of my favorite quotes ever. What did he say? He said he quoted the Bhagavad Gita. They detonated the first nuclear weapon, and he, he quoted the Bhagavad Gita. He said, I am become death, destroyer of worlds. Werner Heisenberg, born on December 5, 1901, in Würzburg, Germany, was an exceptionally talented physicist who rose to prominence for his groundbreaking work in quantum mechanics and the formulation of the uncertainty principle. By the age of 31, he had already earned the prestigious Nobel Prize in Physics in 1932, solidifying his status as one of the leading theoretical physicists of his time. With his intellect and dedication to scientific research, Heisenberg garnered international recognition and respect, becoming a prominent figure in the scientific community. However, the political landscape in Germany took a dark turn with the rise of the Nazi regime, which posed a challenging and morally complex situation for Heisenberg and other scientists of his era. Heisenberg, like many of his contemporaries, was deeply patriotic and felt a strong sense of duty to his country. In the context of escalating World War II, the notion of supporting Germany's war effort seemed like a legitimate course of action for those who believed in contributing their expertise to their nation's benefit. It was during these critical times that Germany initiated its nuclear research program, the German Nuclear Weapon Project, with the ambitious goal of harnessing nuclear fission for military purposes. Given his reputation as a brilliant physicist and his experience in nuclear research, Heisenberg's expertise became invaluable, and he was enlisted to contribute to the project. One perspective posits that Heisenberg's primary motivation for participating in the German nuclear program was driven by his dedication to scientific research and his desire to advance nuclear technology for peaceful applications, such as energy production. Some historians point to Heisenberg's earlier work on nuclear reactor design as evidence of his interest in utilizing nuclear energy for civilian purposes. According to this view, Heisenberg might have seen the project as an opportunity to contribute to Germany's scientific progress without necessarily pursuing the direct development of destructive weapons. Conversely, another perspective contends that Heisenberg and other scientists involved in the German project were well aware of the potential military applications of nuclear fission. Despite the ethical dilemmas they might have faced, they were driven by scientific curiosity, patriotism, and a belief that their work was crucial for the defense and security of their country during a time of war. While some scientists may have grappled with the moral implications of their work, they might have convinced themselves that the project ultimately served the greater good of Germany. The lack of conclusive evidence and the passage of time have made it challenging to ascertain the true intentions and actions of individuals involved in the German nuclear program. The secrecy surrounding the project and the cloud of war further complicate the historical understanding of Heisenberg's role. Moreover, the Nazi regime's tight control and censorship of information make it difficult to fully comprehend the complexities and inner workings of the German scientific community during that period. World War II was undoubtedly a period of immense political and social upheaval, where scientists faced unprecedented challenges and difficult choices. The pressure of working under a totalitarian regime, combined with the potential military significance of their research, created an environment of immense complexity and uncertainty for scientists like Heisenberg. In this context, many scientists found themselves grappling with the ethical implications of their work, compelled to make decisions that would have profound consequences. Additionally, Heisenberg's role as a prominent physicist and his involvement in the German nuclear program could have been strategically used by the Nazi regime for propaganda purposes. The regime could have presented Heisenberg's work as evidence of Germany's scientific prowess and its position as a leading force in scientific research and development. By showcasing Heisenberg as a figure supporting their cause, the Nazis might have sought to gain credibility and legitimacy in the eyes of the German population and the international community. In conclusion, 
Werner Heisenberg's involvement in the German nuclear program remains a subject of historical debate and speculation. The circumstances surrounding his actions were multifaceted and influenced by a combination of scientific curiosity, patriotism, the pressures of living under a totalitarian regime, and the moral dilemmas of contributing to the development of potentially devastating weaponry. While there is no definitive evidence to prove that Heisenberg actively supported the Nazi regime, his contributions inadvertently aided their war efforts. To truly understand Heisenberg's role, it is essential to consider the historical context, the political and social climate of the time, and the limitations of available historical records. Further research and analysis are needed to shed more light on this complex chapter in the history of science and humanity.